All right, interesting little scenario. This is uh, one of the scenarios from C3I21, The Great Battles of Spartacus. It starts off with three discrete forces of Romans and three discrete forces of slave rebelling slaves. And uh, we initiated a, an elite activation because the uh, Spartacus is an elite leader. Really put some hurt on this formation over here that uh, Gannicus was leading. He uh, wiped out most of the Roman force here in the first uh, activation. Uh, it's got quite lucky with some rolls there. Uh, I suffered a rout, but that's okay. That guy's on his way off the board. In over on the right hand flank is what happened next. There was a, a round of combats that forced some Roman losses. We mainly due to a uh, trying to rotate in reaction to flanking attack number one and number two, the additional uh, problems that are caused by the ferocity roll, which so the TQ roll with the modifier for ferocity. It means it's harder for the Romans to stand tall in their their check their their morale check before Malay, and so that added incremental cohesion hits, which made them substantially easier to to wipe out. And these guys su succeeded in all of their uh, pre uh, shock uh, checks, so that went quite well here. This is the middle of the middle of the second turn is the end of the scenario. And then in the center, uh, the attacks didn't go terribly well to start with for the slaves. They, uh, this chap here, his name is Castus. He ran in there with his gladi gladiator guys thinking he would take on a, a double stack of uh, cohorts, got himself in a bit of bother, ended up uh, being counterattacked in the following, in a following activation. Uh, let's see, following activation, and then uh, had seven of eight hits on this guy. The seven of eight? No, four of eight on that, on that guy. So that was sitting there kind of facing off and this particular unit didn't have too much damage on it. It was still reasonably okay. It had taken three hits out of the five, but it was, uh, uh, both of these units had three hits out of five. Then the, the leader, where did he go? Did we take him off the board? Maybe I took him off the board. Oh no, I popped him over here, here he is. Vanius charged in with his cavalry to try and finish this unit off and potentially kill this general. Rolled a zero, bounced off, routed with his cavalry, still caused some damage to these guys. Uh, but you know the the difference here with the with the great battles of history simple version versus the full version is the attack superior defender superior modifications really make a significant difference in the game and so with defender superior I'm inflicting three times the hits on on the uh, on the Romans uh, that they roll for. So even in the attack where they, they only were going to take two or three hits, I think it was, it was going to be three hits uh, because they had a good, they had a flank attack. But that was tripled or doubled. It was tripled. So they took nine. So they broke and ran. These guys were only taking two hits. So they, they were fine. That, that put them up to right up to six following activation. So they, they routed, uh, they, they then moved in and attacked. Uh, the, these guys that were here, and uh, they routed, that allowed, oh sorry, correction, Spartacus with his cavalry then came in, he did some attacks, forced these guys to rout, that left the, uh, the Roman um, banner, uh, uh, eagle, alone in the hex, these guys move in and capture it, 25, 25 victory points, that puts us well over 50 victory points or route points, for the game, and uh, despite the fact that Spartacus routed, uh, he 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 also suffered from a charging in against infantry to try and wipe these guys out, knowing that we would lose, that he would uh, route, 
we still went ahead and did it because we only needed a couple of hits on this guy here to force these guys to route, thinking that you know they'd move off the field. But then they failed their role to take the banner with them. Their eagle, their standard with them is the word I was trying to find. And so uh, it stayed on the field. We captured it, and that ends the game basically, mainly because of uh, the 25 bonus uh, VPs you get. So a lot of good fun. Thanks for tuning in, Big Board. That's one of the three games I want to try and play this week. So we've knocked that bad boy out. A lot of good fun. I always love playing this game. It's uh, it's really pretty straightforward. Most of the stuff's on the tables. The uh, Some versions of these modules, are the, the tables are better laid out than others. SPQR being one of the better ones. Uh, the classes, Clash of Swords chart, there was a bit of flipping and toing and froing with things, but all in all, it's all good. So... All right, thought I'd share that with you. You all take care.